Good morning, children. Peekaboo. Why do you think I'm hiding? Why do you think I'm hiding from you this morning? Because I'm here to tell you a story about a man who hid. My name is Leanne, and I'm here to tell you a Bible story. Um, our story today is about a man who became king. So the Israelites um, asked God for a king. Everybody had a king, and they wanted a king. But God said, no, I don't want you to have a king, because if you get a king, you might do what the king says instead of what I say. But the people said, everybody has a king. We want a king. And so Samuel went back to God and said, God, they're going to go ahead and choose a king for themselves if you don't help. So God said, all right, Samuel, you go out there and you find a person who's going to be a good king for my people. So Samuel looked all around and he found a man and his name was Saul. And Saul became the first king of the Israelites. But Saul had one problem. He was super shy. He was afraid to be king because he was shy, and he was afraid to talk to people, and he was afraid to do the things that God told him to do. But God didn't care. You know, the thing about God is God likes all kinds of people. There are shy people. There are super outgoing people. There are quiet people. There are afraid people. There are people with all kinds of emotions. And guess what? God made all those emotions, and God loves them, and God chose Saul to be the king, even though he was super shy. I wonder about you. Are you shy sometimes? Are you outgoing? Are you afraid sometimes? It's okay. God loves you just the way you are. And God can use shy people and outgoing people and all kinds of people to do God's work. You are part of God's kingdom. Saul got to be the first king. Now, we don't get to be kings, but we get to be part of a kingdom, God's kingdom. And it's a kingdom of love, and it's a kingdom of peace, and it's a kingdom of joy, and it's a kingdom that we all belong in. I am so glad to be part of God's kingdom with you. Have a great day, and I will tell you another story soon.